Hello, I'm Jack Davis, and this is what Jack has made. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an Illustrator file, and then save it as an SVG file so you can use it in your web page. So first off, we're going to create a new document, call it SVG. It doesn't have to be SVG, you can call it whatever you want. And then create a illustration. Just create something quite basic. So there we go, we have our screw, but we need to now save it so that we can use it in our HTML file. And to do this, we can either click Save As and change it to SVG, or you can go to File, Export, and then SVG is the option there. Either way works, then you can export it, and then you can see that it saves as a HTML document here, well, an SVG document. We can open it up. And you can see there is our SVG. It's fully scalable and it won't lose any quality as it's a vector graphic. But what if we want to use this in a HTML page? Then we can simply go into the source code, copy that, and then bring it into a HTML page. I've already set up a basic HTML page. But if we copy and paste the SVG into there, and then view the web page, you can see that it loads quite well. And as well as this, we can apply some styling. So at the moment I've got 50% for the SVG, which means that is now 50% of its parent element. If we change that to 25, then it scales. As well as this, you can change the fill, or you can change different rotations and colors. So for example, the fill, this is the outside of the circle, the screw part, if we change this to say blue and then save it then you can see that that changes to blue so if you're using a preprocessor for CSS such as less or sass then you can set up variables and have the fill and stroke change to those variables to make it much quicker because at the moment if you want to change them you have to edit the HTML file themselves but it can be used for a, a wide range of different things. One example I'll show you quickly on my code pen. Is, let me just find it. My slice SVG float. So what I've done here is I've created a basic SVG text. And then I'm using CSS to change the position of the actual SVG. And if we zoom out, it makes no difference. If we zoom in, it makes no difference because it scales. So if I wanted to edit the code, they are all in the group ID box. So if I change box to width 100 pixels. That won't change anything. Um, oh, container. There we go. It scales. So as long as you change the parent container, then they will scale within and not lose any quality. So if I set this to, say, 5,000 pixels, which won't look too great, but as you can see, it loses no quality as it can be scaled as it's a vector graphic. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use an SVG in your web page. Um, I'll explain a bit more in detail in, in another video as to how to animate your SVG with CSS.